Hey guys, what are you doing? Playing video games. What game are you playing? Action game. An action game? Cool. Do you have a computer at home? Yeah. But my mom didn't have a computer. She didn't have a computer when she was little? She told you that? I wonder what she did. Do you ever ask her what she did when she was young? What types of games do you think your parents played when they were young? Um, I wonder how they passed their time. Yeah. That'd be cool if we knew, right? How can we figure this out? Teachers play a critical role in building upon children's experiences in the classroom through language and interactions. The purpose of this video, Language for Learning, is to show teachers using skilled techniques for communication. These techniques include positive language, expansion, questioning, and redirection. Teachers use them to foster critical thinking and problem-solving skills, promote learning as they extend children's knowledge, and help children develop social skills. In the video, you will see interactions in diverse childcare settings and how teachers modify their interactions to meet the developmental needs of their specific age group. So you guys, we're down here and I had a plan of something for us to do, but Malik and Danny and I talked about something that our parents did when they were young. And Danny was saying that his mom didn't have a computer when she was young. And we all love spending time on the computers. What are some of the things you think when people did when they didn't have computers? Hopscotch. Maybe they played hopscotch. That's cool. Basketball. So we want to know some questions we can ask older people about fun things they did when they were our age or your age. Anna Grace would ask, what did you do when you were our age? How old? 10. Let's put 10 up there. What did they play when they, when they were our age? So Naya wants to know what kind of games did they play when they were younger? After creating a list of questions, the children divided them up and set out to find out more from their parents and grandparents to report back to the group. We were wondering what you did when you were young. What I done? Mm -hmm. Well, I worked. Worked in the cornfield. <laughs> <laughs> and went to school whenever I could get to go. What did you play when you were young? Well, <laughs> we played marbles. We played baseball. Football, went swimming, that's about all the play we got. School agers range in age from 5 to 12 years and during this time they are practicing and mastering many skills during the educational day. While group care for school agers is not their primary educational setting, school age programs have a unique opportunity to support children's development by offering a variety of enriching activities that supplement what is learned at elementary school. In fostering positive interactions, teachers can take advantage of the school-age child's range of capabilities. These children are independent, self-directed learners who engage in complex relationships with adults and peers. They use language to communicate their feelings, beliefs, observations, and knowledge as they socialize and interact with others. The examples show how teachers ensure interactions are an enjoyable social experience. Not only can language support children's cognitive development, but teachers can also use language to convey social expectations and appropriate behavior. Facilitating conversation during activities. Okay, how do you want to design these earrings? I want the blue at the bottom. Okay, you, you fix it on the wire the way you want it and I'll help you get it on the earring post. And I have a big wrist, and your mother is very petite. Let's back it up a minute. Now, that's big for you. Think that'll fit your mother? See, I have a large wrist. I guess just one more. Do you want one more on it? Okay. No, no, another red, white, and blue. If you want to, it's up to you. You're making it for mom. Sophie, what are you drawing? I don't know. Are you going to use any other colors? Maddie, what do you think her art is? A vase. A vase? Is it a vase, Sophie? I don't think so. She's
She doesn't think so. What do you think it is, Molly? A dog face. Is it a dog face, Sophie? Maybe. Maybe. What do you need? A blue dog. Is it abstract? You know what abstract is? Discussing nature and science. Why are the birds in the I think we need to fill it up with seeds and that's why we don't see any birds out here. Normally maybe if there are seeds in there, the birds can smell them and um, they know that they're there or sometimes they see other birds around and then they know that there's food in there. So we don't have any seeds in there and that's why there are no birds today. Yeah, maybe we should go and get some seeds and fill it up. You wanna do that? Awesome. Wow, look at your hair. When you went down the slide, you were laying down and your hair was touching the slide and it created friction which made static, and now your hair is infused. <laughs> <And it's puffy. laughs> right. You know what we can do when we get back inside? We can look in the encyclopedia and read more about it. Isn't that cool? <laughs> Her hair is getting blown. Right. Promoting writing activities. I'm making some flowers because I have some used bunk buds that I don't need anymore. Cool. Are they for sale? Um, yeah, it says, hi, do you, did you know that I have some used bunk beds that I don't need anymore? My mom said maybe we're going to, like, like, we're going to give out toys because we have, like, 16 boxes of little pieces, like, little stuffed animals and toys. Yeah, can you help her make some flyers for her toys? Um, sure. To get some Thank you. You want to write them down for us? <laughs> you want to write, too? We're gonna, what we did today? I don't know, you tell me. What did we do today? What do you think, Ariana? What else did we do today? We go outside and I eat lunch and then go to bed. Yeah, we went outside. And then what did we do? What did we do after we ate, Katie? What did we do when you guys got here? Mm. Oh, we we play. Fostering respect and positive interactions. Let's stop for a minute and put some of this mulch back. You want to help put some of the mulch back? Okay. Here's one for use. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. <laughs> All right. Oh, <laughs> great. So you do puzzles at home? Yeah. Cool. I have a couple puzzles at home that I've started on, but I hadn't finished them yet. How do you normally start out a puzzle? By doing the outer edge first. Right, that's what we do too. If you get like the outer pieces together, it's easy to fill the middle in. I'm gonna go and check on some of the other guys, but um, when you get the outer portion done, call me back over and I'll help you fill in the middle, okay? Okay. And do you wanna uh, keep it out here or do you mind if somebody comes back and puts it away? Keep it out. Okay, we'll put this sign up so that they know that we're working on this and not to put it away, okay? Good job, Shari. Good job. Let's watch Tay. Look. Good job, Taylor. You got one in the top. Get it, get it. Shoot it, shoot it. Oh! Oh! What's wrong? My needle doesn't fit through the thing, and Addie's works better, but she's using it right now, so I can't use it right now. Oh, okay. Do you think she'd probably let you use it after she's done? Mm -hmm. Have you asked her? No, not yet. You want to? Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure that if you asked her, she might let you use that when she's done. Okay. Want to try it? Okay. okay. Hey, Addie, can I use that after you? Because my needle doesn't fit through these things. Sure. What if... You were at the restaurant and there was one slice of pizza left and you wanted it and your sister wanted it and your brother wanted it. That would be awesome. Did you hear what he said? He said cut it into three pieces so everybody could have a piece. Shoot the ball. What if you saw two friends arguing 
on the playground. <laughs> what could you do? Right. So she said she would ask them to stop and maybe apologize. You could also let an adult know that people were arguing on the playground. Good idea. Shoot the ball. Oh! We need five on each team, and I'm going to pick two people to help roll, okay? And we'll roll it really, really hard. You ready? Go. The examples shown in the video illustrate the important role of the teacher in using language to promote cognitive development and support a positive social environment. Recognizing the complex language skills and social dynamics of this wide range of ages helps childcare providers facilitate activities and interactions that challenge children and promote learning. An environment in which adults model appropriate language and behavior, show respect for children, encourage them to pursue their interests, and challenge them to seek new experiences helps children stay engaged in their learning process and supports a quality learning environment for school-agers.